Crypto is broken right now. Alts keep dumping. Bitcoin is dipping below 60K. And let's not even talk about Ethereum. It may as well be rebranded as Deathereum because it may as well be dead. This has left everyone asking, where is the bull run we were promised? Well, it really isn't that bad, guys. In my opinion, the bull run is very much here. But the problem is that the strategies that worked in 2021 do not work right now. The crypto market has changed and you either adapt or die. Well, we are choosing to adapt. So today I'm showing you my exact game plan and portfolio for the 2024 bull run. You don't want to miss this. But before we get started, a quick reminder that this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. This video is not intended for UK consumers. Don't invest unless you're prepared to lose all the money you invest. Crypto is a high risk investment and largely unregulated. You are unlikely to be protected if something goes wrong. If you're not in the UK, let's get started. Actually, before we start, if you're wondering why this channel is now called Lab of Crypto, well, I'm not the only host on this channel anymore. Recently, I welcomed my new co-host Gabby on and I might bring on a third host soon. Drop a comment below and let me know who you want the next host to be and what you want them to cover. With more hosts coming on, it didn't make sense to call the channel Lady of Crypto anymore. So I changed it to Lab of Crypto. But don't worry, I'm still Lady of Crypto. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not fucking leaving! The show goes on! And we are cooking up some great stuff for you in the lab. We have to cook. So make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss any great content. Now, let's talk about the market. As I said, in my opinion, this is still a bull run. Yes, in 2020, at this point after the halving, a lot of alts were pumping, not dumping. But you cannot directly compare 2020 to right now for one major reason. This year, the crypto market pumped hard before the halving and Bitcoin broke its all-time high far earlier than expected, whereas in 2020, crypto was still near the bottom around the halving. Crypto has pumped so hard that a retrace is perfectly normal at this point, and most alts are still very far from their bear market lows. So this retrace doesn't phase me, and I'm still ultra bullish right now. But why? Well, there are five main reasons I'm bullish. I'll break each of those down and then I'll share my game plan for this bull run and my portfolio. So let's break down why I'm bullish. The first reason is simple. Mt. Gox and FTX are airdropping a combined $25 billion of Bitcoin and USD to crypto degens. 25 billion. And for some reason, people think this is bearish and a panic selling, which is just dumb if you ask me. If you don't know what Mt. Gox is, it's an exchange that was hacked in 2014 and had almost 1 million Bitcoin stolen. Even back then, that was worth a lot. After the hack, they filed for bankruptcy. And now, 10 years later, users of Mt. Gox are finally getting repaid some of their Bitcoin. In total, this is worth around $9 billion. This is good for crypto because it puts Bitcoin back in the hands of regular people not into the greedy hands of mega investment funds like BlackRock. So, this is bullish. These people have been in crypto since 2014, and they're getting repaid a huge amount of Bitcoin right at the start of a bull run. What do you think these people are going to do with that money? Pause this video and leave a comment below telling me what you would do if you had a few Bitcoins today. Sure, some of them will take some profit, but I think most of these people will either hold or sell their Bitcoin to buy altcoins. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that if you give a crypto degen a load of money, they're going to ape into alts. But that's only 9 out of the 25 billion. So what about the other 16 billion? Well, that's being repaid to creditors of the bankrupt FTX exchange, and that's being paid as USD to them. Many people argue that the American Rescue Plan of 2021, which was an economic stimulus plan by the US government during COVID that gave around $1.9 trillion to the American people, is what kicked off the last bull run. 
People got free money and some of them spent it on crypto. And yes, $1.9 trillion is a lot more than $25 billion, but the trillions went to everyone in the US. The $25 billion is going directly to crypto degens. So it's even more likely to flow back into crypto, especially with the Ethereum ETF just around the corner, which is reason to why I'm bullish. In January of this year, the SEC finally approved spot Bitcoin ETFs. And what happened immediately after? Bitcoin dumped. But that was only temporary. When the ETFs were released, their creators like BlackRock started buying up billions of Bitcoin to back them. The rest is history. Bitcoin rallied with all the buying and broke its all-time high before the halving for the first time in its history. Ethereum ETFs were recently approved, but they've not yet been released. When they do, it is plausible that we'll see the same thing. This is good, because when Ethereum rallies, it usually drags everything up with it. But the ETF fund doesn't stop there. Now, many of the same investment funds that applied for the Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs are applying for Solana ETFs. If approved, this also has the potential to drag the altcoin market up. What we're seeing right now is the mass adoption of crypto. After 15 years, it is finally happening. And that makes me very bullish. Before I go on, I want to tell you about one specific little trick and tool that I use all the time for crypto. If you're in crypto, there is no excuse for not using a VPN. It's an easy tool that keeps you and your crypto safe from hackers. If you don't have a VPN, you are revealing your IP and identity to every crypto website you visit, from CoinGecko to DEXs like Uniswap. Blockchains are anonymous, but websites are not. They're logging your personal information all the time. And you don't want that when you have crypto wallets worth hundreds, thousands, or even more on your browser. It's like holding up a sign to hackers and saying, hey, look at me, I'm in crypto, please hack me. The most basic rule of crypto security is having a VPN. And that is why I've partnered up with NordVPN to give you an awesome exclusive discount that you can check out using the link below. Only a few dollars a month, it's a no brainer. And NordVPN isn't just for one device. You can install it on up to 10 devices. This means you can keep all of your personal information hidden and secure when you travel. One huge risk with travel is connecting to hotel Wi-Fi. A VPN helps keep you safe there too. So there's no excuse not to use one. Visit the link below for my exclusive deal. Now let's quickly look at some charts and talk about reason three. Bull runs typically last for 18 months after the halving. This is what happened in both the 2017 and 2021 bull runs. The halving was under three months ago, so we have around 18 months left in this bull run, which means we're just getting started. But there is one super important thing to note. It is perfectly normal for crypto to not pump hard and sometimes even actually dump after the halving. There is usually a period of 20 or so weeks where Bitcoin doesn't do much before it goes absolutely parabolic. You can see this after both the 2016 and 2020 halving. Now, there is no denying that we did get a bit of an uptick right after the 2020 halving and alts performed better, but this was still a consolidation phase before the parabolic pump which started here. So when we look at 2024 and price isn't going parabolic right after the halving, I'm not surprised. I'm expecting history to repeat and things to pick up again around September, especially because of reason four. And that's the fact that rate cuts are coming. I'm not going to bore you with the economics, I'm just going to keep it simple. When inflation goes up, the Fed raises interest rates to combat it. Raising rates causes sell-offs in risk assets like stocks and crypto, which occurred primarily in 2023. Eventually, this also causes the economy to slow down, which prompts the Fed to begin slashing interest rates. Lower interest rates are usually positive for risk assets like stocks and crypto. This is because safer investments like bonds are returning less interest and investors turn to riskier assets in the hope of good returns. So to summarize, high rates are bad for crypto and low rates are good for crypto. Well, it looks like the Fed will start cutting rates around September, which lines up very nicely with two things. 
First, it is the end of the summer period, which is usually dead or bearish for stocks and crypto. October, November and December are historically the best months for the financial markets, so it's exciting to see potential rate cuts heading into October. Second, it takes us to around the end of the 20-week period after the halving that we just talked about, which is the point at which crypto historically starts pumping. I love it when things line up. The final reason I'm bullish is that the US election is coming. And for the first time in history, there is a very high chance that a pro-crypto candidate will be elected president. Trump has come out in support of crypto over the last few months, which is no surprise considering the guy has a few NFT sets. And he also holds a few million worth of crypto, which blows my mind. A US president supporting crypto makes me very bullish. And again, this all lines up very nicely for a bullish end to 2024. We've got rate cuts, the end of summer, the end of the 20 week consolidation phase. And then shortly after in November, we have the US election, which could be huge for crypto if Trump gets in. And while all this is happening, we have $25 billion being given to crypto degens. That is why I'm bullish. Now let's talk about my game plan. There are three main parts to this game plan and I'll break down each one for you. Before I do, I wanna quickly say this is my personal game plan, but I'm not a financial advisor. You shouldn't blindly copy anyone on YouTube, including me. Crypto is high risk and you need to do your own research. Okay. So the first part of my game plan is to focus on hot narratives and good projects within those narratives. The hottest narratives I'm watching right now are AI, gaming, memes, deep in and real world assets. But looking at hot narratives is not enough these days. AI and deep in are huge narratives. Recently, Aether brought loads of innovation to these narratives and it did quite well. It currently has an almost $300 million market cap with a $3 billion FDV, and it's barely budged considering the rest of the market is dumping it. Now, I'm not saying go and buy Aether. It already has a huge cap. I'm just making a point that Aether did well because it was unique and brought something new to the space. But after Aether blew up, scores of copycat projects started flooding the market, and those projects have failed for the most part. This is so common with crypto. One idea does well and copycat scams flood the market. Everyone who missed out on the original buys the copies, hoping they do well too. But they rarely do. So I'm not just looking at the AI, gaming, memes, deep in and real world asset sectors. I'm also looking for unique projects in those sectors. The second part of my game plan for this bull run is to stick to my analysis, set realistic expectations and not buy into the absolute dribble and nonsense, tiny little atom brained knob wombats drone on about. This is so important. In the months before this recent dump, so many people on Twitter and YouTube were saying that the bull run is accelerated because Bitcoin broke its all time high early. They said that it would be up only from $70,000 for the next nine months, then this bull run would end. This whole accelerated bull run theory picked up a lot of steam back in February and March. We all know what happened next. Bitcoin was dumped along with the alts and it's still dumping. Just because Bitcoin broke all time high early, it doesn't mean this cycle is accelerated. It broke early because like I said earlier, ETF issuers like BlackRock bought billions to back their ETFs. In my opinion, this cycle will play out much like the last two. We won't peak until around 18 months after the halving, which is roughly in September or October, 2025. This is my opinion on how I expect this cycle to play out. We have a roughly 20 week consolidation period after the halving. We are around halfway through that right now. After that, in around late September to early October, the positive catalysts I discussed earlier start piling on. Things like interest rate cuts, the Ethereum ETF and billions flowing into crypto. And this pushes us into a bullish phase that lasts around 12 months or so from here. These are all very rough numbers and you should certainly not be making investment decisions based on them. This is simply how I see things playing out. This brings me to the most important part of my game plan, which is getting out of crypto. I've spoken to hundreds of successful traders and investors over the last few years, and they all had one thing in common. 
every single one of them took profit. As the bull market goes on, you're going to start seeing people saying nonsense like hodl, diamond hands, and other dumb things from people who never take profit and turn millions into zero. I'm not doing that. I'm taking profit and I will be taking partial profit for the entire bull run. But like I've said several times today, a crypto bull run traditionally lasts around 18 months. So I will be taking profit slowly in the first 12 months. Then in months 12 to 15, I'll increase the rate at which I take profit. Then from months 15 to 18, I'll increase it again with the aim of being 100% out of crypto by late 2025. A lot of people are surprised when I say I'll be 100% out of crypto. They say, would you at least hold Bitcoin? Why would I hold? It makes no sense. Bitcoin dumps more than 50% in a bear market. I'd rather just sell in the bull market and buy back way cheaper in the bear market. But that's my plan anyway. So there you go. My three part game plan for this bull run. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you found this video educational and helpful. If you want to get a bit more insight into how meme coins are performing right now, then go watch Gabby's video where she breaks down three of the best performing coins in the current market. But until next time, guys, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.